It seems clear that the Prime Minister is in the process of rescuing poor people from Michael Lashley, but he can only do so much. The rest is now up to you, the people of St. Philip North. You must recognize your power and believe in your ability to make things better for those who are still suffering in communities across this constituency because your outgoing parliamentary representative has other priorities. We are not surprised that the Prime Minister seems let down and disappointed and is therefore losing confidence in Michael Lashley, the outgoing parliamentary representative for St. Philip North. But so too have the people of this constituency. In fact, the Prime Minister now seems to appreciate what the people of St. Philip North have had to contend with for over eight years now. People who know St. Philip North well are usually quick to say, everybody up here is family. So that when the people begin to say that Lashley has taken family first to a new level, you have to immediately pause and take note. We know he had new priorities. It was not this, 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 or this. But what is the real reason why the Prime Minister has now downgraded Lashley? How do you begin to explain Lashley's fall from grace, even in the eyes of a Prime Minister who is said to be very tolerant? Whatever the reason, because of Lashley's time wasting and given his apparent priorities, he has been relieved of the Rural Development Commission. What will that mean for poor people like Mr. Proverbs, who Lashley could have helped but did not? Here at Upper Hall, there is a drainage problem which is causing this community a serious headache. Water rushes off this hill when it rains. But that's not all. That water settles here, and this house was already flooded out. Since October 2010, Michael Lashley was made aware of this fact. You do not have to be a rocket scientist to know that water runs downhill. Everyone knows that water takes the path of least resistance. And so, it was reasonably foreseeable that when it rains, runoff from this road was likely to invade this property and that is precisely what now happens. As the then minister responsible for the Rural Development Commission, Lashley could have taken action, have the water slowed coming off the hill, dug a well here, especially since permission for such was willingly given, widen the mouth of the existing old well, and fix the drainage nightmare in this community. He did not, because bringing relief to this community was never a priority for him. But to fix problems like these is precisely why he was given the Rural Development Commission in the first place. And so, like the people of Apple Hall and the people of St. Philip North in general, the Prime Minister has every right to be disappointed. But what exactly did Michael Lashley having responsibility for the Rural Development Commission mean to the people in communities across St. Philip North and in rural Barbados in general? Here's your answer. This is a reminder of the neglect, the time wasting, and the fact that the outgoing parliamentary representative for St. Philip North had other priorities. The Prime Minister has clearly had enough, and so too have the people of this constituency. But cases like these are and will always be a priority for me. All across St. Philip North, the chorus is the same, and the evidence points in one direction. The man who was housing Minister of Barbados, the man who had responsibility for housing and lands, 
and the Rural Development Commission was asleep at the wheel. When it came to the people of St. Philip North, he had other priorities and was therefore not willing to listen to their cries for relief. There's an extremely painful story here, but it is Michael Lashley's legacy. The outgoing parliamentary representative for this constituency, or Mr. Doolittle, had tremendous state resources placed at his disposal to empower poor people and to transform their lives in communities across Barbados. But because of his other priorities, it would appear that he has not only disappointed the Prime Minister, who, it would appear, has lost confidence in Lashley, but also the people of St. Philip North, who have been saying for some time now that it is time for a change. He was supposed to be the DLP symbol of hope and a friend and champion to poor people, especially those in St. Philip North. But Michael Ashley, aka Travis, has become a reminder of neglect and the source of their pain, frustration, and disappointment. Mr. Travis, you have had your chance and you will get no sympathy from us. Michael Lashley, as the outgoing parliamentary representative for St. Philip North, the people are speaking. They are saying, you have had your chance. Take your done and go long. I am in Darwear, the Barbados Labour Party's candidate for St. Philip North, and I approve this message.